This tutorial covers calculating sale prices uh, using some discounts and then uh, adding uh, find the taxes and then the total cost. And we'll take a look at uh, two examples, one in this page, one in the next. So in the first one it says you buy two items uh, at $11.99 and $23.49. They are both discounted 20%. You're asked, will $30 be enough to cover these purchases? So the first thing we need to do is find out how, the, how much the two of these cost together. So we add up the $11.99 and $23.49. And so let's uh, do that in the calculator here. Plus $23.49. And so we get $35.48. So that's what the two of those add up to. So uh, next thing we need to find is uh, what the cost is going to be after the discounted 20%. Now, if something is discounted 20%, then you're paying 80% of the original price. So the quicker way to calculate the uh, discounted cost is to take that $35.48 and multiply it by 0.8. Now there are, there are two different ways to do this. I'm going to show that in the calculator. So 3548 uh with uh paying 80% or having 20% off is 2838. And uh, a little uh, a little different way to do that. We could take that 3548 and multiply it by 0 0.20, find 20% of that. So that's uh be $7 and that would round to 10 cents. You see the uh 6 would make the 9 cents round to 10. So then Excuse me, thirty-five dollars and forty-eight cents minus the seven dollars and ten cents. So it gives us uh, twenty-eight dollars thirty-eight cents. So that's two different ways to calculate it. You could calculate the discount, the seven ten, and then subtract that from that. But it is a, a quicker calculation if all you need to do is want to do is find the end result. Is instead of taking twenty percent off, just multiply it by eighty percent. So twenty-eight dollars thirty-eight cents. So that's the price, and now we have to add in the tax. So to add in the tax, and um, uh, I'm doing this for the province of Ontario and Canada, and our tax is called the HST, and it's 13%. So we're going to add 13% to 2838. So adding 13% on, we uh, multiply by what 1.13. And so that will give $32.07. I'm going to do that calculation here, $228. 38 cents times 1.13 and so uh, $32 and you see that 9 would make the 6 cents round up to 7 cents and again uh, an another way to do this we could take the $28 and 38 cents and especially if you're working in a store you might want to actually know the tax to write out a receipt so if you multiply that by 0.13 just finding 13 percent of it uh, then that's the tax um, be three dollars and sixty, and that would round and uh, make that nine would round up, the eight round up to a nine. So three dollars and sixty nine cents. So twenty eight dollars and thirty eight cents plus that three dollars and sixty nine cents tax gives us the three two oh seven. So that's another way to do it. Uh, if you don't need to know the tax in between then multiplying by one point one three just does just add on the thirteen percent, and you get three two oh seven. So the, co the total cost is $32.07, so the $30 is not enough. You're short by $2.07. Uh, example number two. A pair of skis are discounted 30% off the regular price of $219. This weekend, they will be an additional 20% off. So you're asked, what is the retail price, including HST, uh, and with the additional discounts, so we're going to take the 30% off and the 20% off as well. So the discounted price, so we start out with uh, $219, and 30% off means you're paying 70%. Uh, if you take your calculator, let me clear the screen here, 100 minus 30% means you're still paying 70%. So Taking 30% off is the same as paying 70% of the original price. And similar idea with a 20% off, if you're, pay, ta if you're paying, taking 20% off, then you're still paying 80% of that price. So a, the quickest way to do this calculation 
is to multiply that 219 by 0.7 or 0 0.70 and then 0 0.80. So that actually takes 30% uh, off and then an additional 20% off. So uh, the 219 uh, becomes $122.64. And remember, it's not the same as taking 30% off and then 20% off is not the same as taking 50% off. Okay, uh, Notice if I took 219 times 0.5, I don't get the same thing. Okay, So it's not the same thing because this 80% is calculated on a smaller amount. It's not calculated on the whole $219. So just to sh okay, so here's the uh, the 122.64, and now some people would like to do it this way probably, uh, 219 times now okay, so originally it's 30% off, so 0 0.30. So the first discount takes $65.70 off, so 219 minus $65.70. So the new price is $153.30. So now what we want to do, and this is, the, this is a little longer way to do it, but this is what some people like to do, take an additional 20% off. So we're going to take, see, we're going to take 20% of that, not 20% of the 219. That's why the uh, you can't just add the 30 and 20 and get 50% uh, off. So $153.30 times 0.20. So that's thirty dollars and sixty six cents we're gonna take off of this. So one fifty three thirty minus the thirty dollars and sixty six cents uh, gives us exactly the same thing. So that is a little longer way to do it, but you do get to see exactly what the discounts are. The discounts are sixty five dollars and seventy cents and then another thirty dollars and sixty six cents. So, so this is the discounted price, 12264 after those two discounts. So now we want to uh, add in the tax uh, and uh, see what the final price is. So the price was eight with HST, and maybe we'll bring the calculator just to show this one more time, 12264 times 1.13. So that's going to be the after-tax price, and we're round to um, uh, cents, so 58, see that 3 is smaller than 5, so uh, it leaves it at 58 cents, so $138.58 will be the price including tax. So the final price, in HST included, is $138.58, and that's the end of the tutorial.